So today I find myself sitting in an MX-5, or Miata if you're watching in America. Um, I don't really need to say that much about MX-5s, you all know what wonderfully fun, focused cars they are with their brilliant handling, peppy engines, lovely slick gearboxes, rampant rust that turns them into death traps. Yes, unfortunately that is the case with the MX-5, as lovely as they are, they have a dark side. I mean, take this one for instance. This one's a euphonic and um, not bad looking, I think you'll agree. Bit dusty, but we'll look beyond that. Unfortunately, uh, its MA history uh, tells a slightly different story. I don't know uh, about the rest of the world, but in the UK we have uh, these MOT history apps so you can look at all the past MOT passes and fails. And uh, the MOT inspector will have written down a load of stuff and um, you can get it on the app here and. Uh, well, it makes for some interesting reading, shall we say. Um, I'll just go through it now with you. So this, sh so this app shows a list of uh, reasons why this car failed its MOT. And it's quite a long list. Basically, lots of chassis has excessive corrosion seriously affecting its strength comments. Oh dear. So, what does all that mean? Well, it means the bottom of your uh, MX-5 is rusting away. Uh, it probably got great big holes in it and uh, be a bit dangerous to drive. These are pretty typical examples of rusted sills and suspension mount areas. These pictures are pretty typical of the sort of rust you can expect to find on the underside of your MX-5. Even the subframes like to rust. And unfortunately, it gets worse. Uh, let's go over to the engine bay. <coughs> I once completely cut one of these cars apart, all the way across the middle, all the way across the sides, obviously taking all the engine and everything out. And what I discovered was down here, in the inner bulkheads, when I chopped it up, that they'd completely rusted out where the actual front subframe mounts to the, to the body. Uh, you couldn't see this, uh, an, an MOT examiner couldn't see it either. This is the area on the MX-5 that I was talking about that rusts on the inside out. It's quite a common place for them to go on these cars. A good poke with a screwdriver would have made it look like this. I mean, it had rusted so bad that the subframe, front subframe, was about to detach itself from the car. And it's not something that the MOT examiner or anyone could see, um, but it was there. I don't know what it's going on in this car, because like that one, there was no evidence of it on the outside. So just be mindful of that when you're buying an MX-5. <clears throat> this video is focused on the Mark II but it seems the Mark III is also developing some pretty bad rust problems. Will Mazda ever learn? <laughs> 